Welcome to 12T Health, I'm Dr. Derek De Silva. During the holiday season, we tend to gather the family and share a massive meal full of variety of choices. But have you ever wondered how healthy the food on your plate really is? We're here to talk about the holiday traps is Evan Chade. He's the president of Kinetic PT and AccuWellness located in Ramsey and Park Ridge. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me, Dr. Pleasure to have you here. I so, appreciate it. you know, is it really possible to have a plate that's not loaded with calories during the holidays? It is possible. It is possible. You know, um, for the past, I would say, since I was 22 years old, I've been, I went gluten-free at 22, and since then, my, my family and I, we've enjoyed great meals without having gluten. Well, I'll tell you what, you have a, you, I, I love when you bring stuff like this. Let's go through this and tell me what you have here. So let's start with this right here. What do we have? Oh, perfect. My patients love this. This is called Romeo. Very, very difficult to find, but they're chocolates, but the, how they're made is the Peruvian style of making chocolates. Very clean, people love it. My patients absolutely love these. I sell out of these like you wouldn't believe in my clinic. Wow. Yes. So these are chocolates. chocolates. These are uh, uh, 72, 73? 70 dark plus percent dark chocolate. Okay. And it's sprouted nuts in there as well, so it's easy to digest and it tastes like heaven. I'm taking these. Those are yours. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have right here? Now, this is, in our household, this company called Simple Mills, it's gluten-free, it's almond flour based. This tastes delicious. They have a pancake mix that we sell out of, patients die for in our clinic. This is a bread mix, so we could actually do either biscuits or bread. We prefer the biscuits in our household. Little biscuit, little butter, enjoy yourself. Wow, yeah, that is delicious. Cool. What about this? These are cookies. They also have crackers, too. This company is phenomenal. Um, I like to refrigerate these cookies first, and then I eat them. Uh, we could also dip them in almond milk. I was right? just going to say, can I put some chocolate? Can we put some ice cream on there? Uh, totally. <laughs> yes, you can. Coconut ice cream, okay. which I love. Oh, right. I love coconut yeah, ice cream. Yeah, me too, me too. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, but they're so good. They're so clean. The high in glycemic, so you just don't want to have a lot of them, okay? okay? But they're really, really good for your gut. And, and what do we have next? Almond flour. So in our house, we use almond flour. And I recommend patients using almond flour versus mm -hmm. white flour. Okay. Now, okay. Almond flour, coconut flour, when you cook and when you bake. Absolutely. And last but not least, we got to talk about oh, the wine. Gotta you got to have a drink, I right? Know, I know. I know how you love distilled alcohol, yeah. right? So in addition to distilled alcohol, I'm a big fan of organic red wine. Um, and I love it. My patients, they love me because I, I never restrict too much. Mm -hmm. So I'm always like, listen, you can have a glass of wine every single night. I'm okay with that. That sounds good. I thank you for joining us. Appreciate Great it. information. Here's what we're working on for next week. And remember, you can catch 12T Health every Saturday and Sunday during morning and afternoon newscasts. Once again, thank you so much for joining us here today. Here's a look at this week's community calendar.